Hello and welcome back to this tutorial on Python. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to sort a list of lists. Now, most of you probably know how to sort a single list. It's quite easy. All you have to do is just use the simple sort function and you can make your life very easy. So let's say we have a list that looks like this, data one, we're gonna call this that. We're gonna have a list of just integers. We're gonna have one, five, six, or seven. <laughs> and that we're gonna, what we're going to do is we're just gonna do data one dot sort. We're gonna do that. And we're gonna print off data one. So this is how you would traditionally organize and sort a list. But the sort function is much more powerful than just that. We can pass in very specific arguments. In this video, we're gonna look at how to sort a list of lists based on a specific um, value in the list, either by name or by date in this case. But the principles in this video, even though small, are applicable to much larger projects. So let's go ahead and just delete this for right now. We're gonna work with this data set. We have a list of lists. We have Jim, 1988, Zena, 1940, Alexa, 1950, Bob, 1977, Jerry, 1990, and Cindy, 1995. Now this list is in no order. It's not alphabetical and it's not uh, organized by date. So how do we go about doing that? Well, in Python, we have two different options. I'm gonna show you first the, uh, the more cumbersome one, the one that might look a little cleaner, but the one that's actually a little less professional. So the first one is, is that we can make a function. What we're gonna do is we're simply gonna call this function, uh, let's just call it sorting, nothing fancy. This function is gonna take a single argument. We're gonna just call this x, you can call it whatever you want. And what we're gonna do is we're going to return simply the value of x and the position that we want sort, uh, this list of lists sorted by. So if I want it to be sorted by name, I would do uh, zero so that I get that specific uh, part of this list. If I want it to be uh, by date, I would do one. So let's leave that for right now. Now, all we have to do is we're going to type in data.sort. Again, we're calling that sort function, but instead of just letting sort happen by itself, there. you can see if we do that, we're only gonna get uh, organization by that first value. Uh, what if we wanted to do it by uh, by the date, though? We wouldn't be able to. So what we're going to do is we're going to pass in a very specific argument, and this is going to be key. We're going to set key equal to this function we just created. Now when I do it, you should see the exact same, because we're having it organized by uh, the zero position in the lists, which is the letter. But when we change this to date, we see now we have everything organized by date, 1940, 1950, 1977, 1988, 1990, and 1995. This will come up time and again in your DH projects or any project that you're working on where you have to organize lists in more nuanced ways than just simply sorting them uh, by one specific value. Let's go ahead and delete this though. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do the more, um, not, I wouldn't say Pythonic, but the more, a little more complicated, but much more standard way of doing this exact same task. What you're gonna do is you're gonna start working with Lambda. Uh, Lambda is anonymous functions. It's let, it basically lets you do all those three lines of code in one line. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say data.sort, and we're gonna say key is gonna be equal to, and this is where our Lambda is gonna come in, we're gonna say Lambda. And what we're gonna pass that pseudo function, that anonymous function, which is only going to exist right here in this line, we're gonna pass in that exact same information. So we're going to send it the data of X, which is like we did in that function, and we're going to return, colon, return, uh, the value of X zero. Now when I print off data, you'll see once again, it's organized by first person, or by the first position in that list, so name. And now when I run it organized by the position of date, we see it organized in that way. I highly encourage you to get more comfortable with the Lambda functions as they allow for cleaner code. They allow you to reduce lines of code to a single line, and it makes for a more professional look in your code if that's what you're going for. If not, ignore me, I don't care. Uh, but that's all for this video. Hopefully you found this useful. And this uh, this skill applies to everything. If you have a list of 30 positions and you are organized by position number 29, you would simply type in 28 so that it organizes on that 29th uh, position. So that's all for this video. Hopefully you found it useful. Um, if you've liked it, hit like and subscribe. Keep on listening. Thank you.